All right, guys. Let me introduce something for you today. Let me show you something today. When I was uh, googling on the uh, internet, and I found this actually beautiful multi-tool. Uh, it's from China, made by China. Right here. You can tell. I want to show you the difference between this uh, Letterman and uh, I don't know how you can pronounce, pronounce this. Beebury, something like that, right? Let me use my. That's the package. You got a nice pouch. All right. Let's start from the pouch. Two things I don't like in this pouch. When you put this multi tool, it gets stuck. Like you have to only place this way. So otherwise, if you put like upside down I very often get stuck it gets stuck by this clip right here you see so you have to make sure you either put down like that right here you got a nice set of beads you got the flat, small Phillips, small torque, big torque, small flat, big flat. So that's one thing. Right here. What cool about this? Let me just show you. Okay, so it's, I would say, almost identical. How you can see. I don't know why they let this uh, China people rip off exactly the same Letterman. Uh, a little bit different design right here, but uh, let me show you the blade. That's the blade. It's this one right here. Look at that. It's like same thing. Very sharp. This one is already beat up because uh, I use Letterman for quite a while. Next, regular. Uh, this is a very, very sharp knife. I'm gonna show you exactly. Look. You can shave, no problem. And you can cut yourself very easy. All right, next on that side, we got your uh, ripping saw for the wood, and this is your file. I, what I saw on Leatherman, it's much finer. It's good for like a polishing nails. And uh, the both of them is sharp. You can actually cut a uh, bolt with it or sharp something, file it. So it's completely fine. They're good. They're good. Now let's open this beast. So how you can see here is you have a letterman, here is a stainless steel. Uh, 
other side <laughs> same thing Leatherman stainless steel the B Burry you got the replaceable uh, tips the cutting tips I think and uh, let's start from that side one floss on this actually this bit has that retainer pin what happened is if you put this way most likely you're gonna lose it it's basically it just comes out very easily make sure if you're working on it or you're flipping you make sure you put that ball right on top on the higher end I think they should make a little bit more sticking up because this is a uh, very easy to lose I lose almost one one a bit already and uh, so that side is only you got only Phillips ah. this letterman I have to fix it actually on that side on the letterman side you got flat Phillips what good things about this you can put any bead actually you can find them in uh, like Milwaukee screwdriver it's inter you can you can just put them from regular screwdriver here not here it's a special leather make makes them on the Leatherman same side you got the can opener and that's it on that side on this side you got the magic things come on so on this side you have and we got your scissors and we got the scissors too. A boat works, no problem. This one's more thinner. This one's more bigger, actually. But it's the same, make the same purpose. Now you have flat screwdriver. It's broken. I know. I just. I use this almost every day but on the blueberry beeberry we have a flat screwdriver and plus we got the small screwdriver instead of this one uh, exchangeable Phillips and the flat on the Leatherman so we got the three things and uh, on this one we have four things actually we have a can opener uh, I don't know what's that that's like a sharper or maybe uh, trimming the wire looks like small flat big flat and the scissors and on the letterman the clip you have to buy extra pay extra for it this one it's like uh, twelve dollars this one already comes with ah, I can remove it stays stays for good so the boat good Leatherman and this Biburi but uh, if I need to choose I will choose this one because uh, one time I lost this one it cost me a hundred ten dollars right and I lost hundred ten dollars this one is twenty seven dollars regular price I think is 34 plus the coupon they got 27 bucks so even if I lose this one it's twenty seven dollars this one has a lifetime warranty a lifetime 25 years that's what I claim this one is one year I believe but for 
27 bucks, come on. It's a case of beer, right? You can't go wrong. The only one things I don't like, because I like to get regular knife on that side, not on this side. Like you see, I get used to it to the Letterman, and Letterman has has a knife on here. So, what I want to do, actually, because I have the second one, this is mine, which is I use every day. This is just, I bought because I like it, and I just want to make a video for you guys. So, what I want to do, I want to switch actually this knife to this side because every time I open like that so let's see if we can do that I have my friendly IKEA let's see if we can remove that yep Got the blade here. You know, I even want to find out. This it this is it. Now we're putting this one here. It works the same way. And here but before I put this, I want to see something. If this blades it looks exactly the same on the Letterman. Oh, no. They are slightly bigger. But let's see the cutting. Look at this, like almost identical. So now, now I know this one is from Bibury. Okay, so let's put this back. Let me fix my Oh yeah, because this one has a, a retainer 
here and this one also have a retainer so it's the same uh, we can fix that I can sharp this a little bit so it's gonna open much easier let me see what's the new one better but Little bit more. I think it's enough. Bingo. We fix it. Let's loosen up a little bit maybe. Oh yeah. So this one still you can lubricate loop lube a little bit and uh but uh Yeah, it works. When it comes from factory, it's like a little bit tight, so you gotta put some WD-40, open a couple times, like you know any leather Leatherman too. You see, this one is already used, beat up, and now uh, this is it. All right, so this is my review about them. I personally really choose this one, really like it, everyday use and uh, use for 
any work. Grilling is my favorite knife. Cut the sausages. So, yeah, stainless steel. I don't see any rust. All right. So, I hope you like it. See ya.